what's up y'all welcome to day five of halloween week i'm so excited for y'all to see this i already posted a picture on instagram so you already probably know what the costume looked like but what you don't know is how i actually made it if you are interested in seeing how i made this vending machine and reese's pieces one peanut butter cup costume then um stay tuned to the video before the video starts as I always say, I made a goal to reach a thousand subscribers before this year is up, y'all. And I'm so, 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 so close. Like, I get close every single day, but I'm not there yet. So, if you want to support me and keep watching my videos and want me to keep creating these videos, make sure you hit the red subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you will never miss when I upload a new video. So now she's done all of that, let's go ahead and get into the video. So today I created a Reese's Cup costume and a vending machine. So I'm starting off with this box and the first thing I decided to do was paint the box so that it could dry while I worked on the rest of the costume. So, of course, we need shells to hold the snacks in the vending machine. So, that's what I'm creating here. I'm just drawing out the shells on, on um, a foam board. And then I'm going to cut them out and paint them black also so that they can dry. While that is drying, let's go to Journey's costume. So, I'm using my orange felt, my brown felt, the Reese sign that I printed out, and some puff paint. Right here, I'm just cutting out the Reese sign so that I can put um, felt on the back of it just to make it like stronger. So when I started the Reese's costume, I wanted to use the brown felt as a guideline because I knew I wanted it to be the same length as the brown felt. So now I'm just drawing a line and using like the brown felt as a guideline, as you can see. This is also double, so I'm cutting out two pieces of orange felt. I knew I wanted the costume to open, so I'm using the brown felt as a guideline again, just for like the, I guess the width of it, so to make sure she could fit right inside of it. Right here, I'm just creating the straps. I wanted to show you how I created the straps, but in the end, I didn't end up using brown. I ended up making the straps out of orange, but I still wanted to show you like how I actually adhered them to the actual costume with um even though I used orange felt now this was the fun part for me right here I'm just making like I'm cutting like triangles out because I kind of want her to look like a Reese's pack so if you look at the pack I was actually looking at the pack for like God like you know to guide me through it but I wanted to make cut those triangles out so it could actually look like a Reese's pack and I did the same thing for the other side. Here I just wanted to mimic everything that the Reese's pack had on it. So I'm drawing that Reese's cup and then I'm writing, I'm going to write on it um, all the things that Therese says, like the milk chocolate. And then also, I wanted to write, you. the Reese's pack says two peanut butter cups, but you know, it's it's a costume and it's just one. So I wanted to put one bit peanut butter cup. So I'm just basically customizing it. And then I also put her weight on the side. <laughs>
So now that that's done, back to the box. So I had already cut out the screen of where I wanted the like actual snacks to show, and I used the X-Acto knife. And then I also cut out the flap that says push, kind of like on the vending machine where the candy comes out of. Now I wanted to show y'all what I used as my screen. So um, for Jaden's real Halloween costume, I just took it out of the pack and I used the plastic from the pack that the costume was in and then I'm just gonna glue it down just so it can have a screen. Here are the shells that I cut out and made earlier. I'm just seeing if they fit like um, in the screen and then I'm gonna glue them on to the back of what I want to be like kind of like the back of the screen. I don't know how to explain it but when you see the rest of the costume you could kind of see what I'm doing. So I wanted to like the candy to have like a back end behind it. So now I'm just gluing the shelves down and then I put like a dab of glue on the bottom of each candy just so it could stand up tall. I'm getting ready to make the keypad now so I'm just showing you all of the like supplies I use to make the keypad and just to customize the whole front of, of the vending machine. I went ahead and cut the part out for him to stick his head through already off camera. But I'm just showing you now how I cut the arms out so that he could put his arm through. And I just used my X-Acto knife once again and cut some squares out for his arms to fit through. Now I'm just drawing like the snack sign. And yeah. The last thing I'm going to show you is how I actually put the snacks into the machine and how I adhere everything. And then that will be all for this costume. Hot glue is basically just like my best friend now. That is how I adhered it. I hot glued it. And that is all for this costume. I hope you all love it as much as I do. If you want to see more pictures, make sure you check out my Instagram. At XOXO, my smile so you can see everything there.